Hmm, saan kaya ako makakabili ng gaming ultra-wide monitor? Yung mataas ang refresh rate tapos affordable pa. Hmm, alam ko na! Sa Lazada! So I went to the uh, Lazada website and searched for the ultra wide monitor with a high refresh rate and when I typed in the keywords the 200 hertz automatically popped out so I clicked and found the first monitor that caught my attention. The Ipason 30 inch gaming ultra wide monitor has a 200 hertz refresh rate, supports HDR, 2 HDMI port and 2 display port, VA panel with an ambi light gaming breathing light system. It says 1440p resolution with a very affordable price and it really sounds good to me. But the only thing that got me confused is in the description it says 1080p. So I looked into the uh, question section and I saw someone ask the same thing. But the CSR said it's 1440p for real. I totally wanted to order this one so I did. So I'll just have to wait for the package to arrive at my house to see if this thing is really legit. One debt to society later. So the package has arrived and I'm really happy about this one because when I looked into the box, the um, episode in Philippines actually gave me a free mouse pad ex and extended mouse pad, which is really long and um, um, I actually removed the audio because I accidentally pressed the auto-tune so it didn't sound right. So let's just focus on unboxing this thing so that we can check what are the uh, components or the freebies or everything that is in, inside the box. So let's do it. 298 frozen patties later.
So when I entered the monitor settings, the first thing I checked on this monitor is the compatibility if this has a G-Sync or FreeSync feature. It has no G-Sync, but yes, it is FreeSync compatible. So I turn it on and got synced to my AMD driver. Also about the uh, language settings, it is actually in the fourth row and you can just click that and change it to English because when I received the package it was all in Chinese language also this monitor is actually not 1440p resolution it is only just 1080p with 144 Hertz false advertising I double checked it in the display settings in here it is only 144 Hertz so uh, maybe this monitor is actually overclockable so it's up to you guys if you want to buy this monitor and overclock it and see if you can max it out to 200 hertz i also checked the uh, performance in the monitor at the test ufo and checked if the refresh rate is actually legit so it is now 144 and i also varied it with five different fps to see the difference and it's all good in the game test the episodes quality is actually good and its colors are in the middle class I prefer if you guys are in the playing high quality textured and colored games you should better buy an IPS panel instead but if you're in the middle and this quality is okay with you then it's fine especially when you play shooting games and the quality of the colors doesn't bother you then this monitor is actually the best pick for you especially when you're on a tight budget. Just to be honest, this monitor is actually really good for its price. This is a really big bang for your buck. I was just disappointed in the resolution because it was not 1440p. Uh, but if you guys are looking for a 1080p ultra-wide gaming monitor that is really affordable and also great in performance, then this monitor should fit your budget. I hope that this video helped you a lot and if you guys have some questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and for you to be part of the conversation. See ya!